This is a ground level meeting for the construction of an access road in New Joswang as part of the OIC projects. Honorable Sheriff Saar, the National Assembly member for Joswang, described the meeting as an opportunity for the community to raise their questions and concerns genuinely and to get realistic answers from the authorities. He praised the government for coming to the level of the community and not using force to secure the space needed for the road. That's the way it should be. Because at first it was a kind of thing laid out. It happens there. You had a lot of complaints. Because I, for me there was no engagement. So when it happened, I took it upon me to say, no, we have to change the scenario. It's before the demolition, engage the community, talk to them. They are also part, part, part of us. They are government. If you see a government, it's the people that are around you that makes you makes, makes a government. So this is why I put it on them to say, we have to come on and meet our people, talk to them, engage them. I came to my people more than three times to discuss with them. But this time around, I propose to them that we have to come as, as a team with the minister and everybody. Though the minister is busy, he cannot make it, but the team that is here is well represented. So this is why they are here talking to the people and also knowing to know what, what they are feeling. And the road are welcoming, we appreciate it, it's, it's a development, and we cannot, we cannot go behind development. The Deputy Chief Executive Officer of OIC Gambia Secretariat, Esa Bokarsi, stressed the need for a holistic and realistic approach for a mutual understanding ahead of the demolition of affected properties for the construction of the road in the area as part of the OIC projects. If you engage the people, you know their plight is, more, is much better than sitting in your office assuming and imagining for them. So meeting them, it is, it is something that motivates me more to understand the magnitude and the importance of this project. But the first project is the human being, and that's why we are here. The demolition is going to happen, and that's why we are engaging them. Because what we want to avoid is to come here, as I said in quotes, give you windmill speeches. It's windmill speeches, is, it turns everywhere. You get confused. We are not going to do that. We'll tell them the facts as they are, and then we are going to make sure that those facts are presented as they should be heard. Some of the affected persons ask why is the demolition on one side of the road and not on both sides as initially proposed. Officials say the decision came as a result of economic and technical impact assessment to minimize damage and economic losses on government and the affected families. Issues of road safety and the compensation process and procedures were also highlighted. Authorities informed the community that the time for the disbursement of funds is yet to be established, but have assured that the compensation will be done. Meanwhile, the demolition exercise will start from the 23rd of this month to be followed by work on the site. Ibrahim Ajalo, GRTS News.